so th at the time I'm filming this, I've got to be quiet, at the day I'm filming this, um, it is Monday the 30th of Jan January, is it? Yes, Monday the 30th of January. Um, welcome back to my weight loss vlog. So anyway, this morning I weighed myself and I was 10 stone 10, okay? And last time I did this vlog it was, I was 10 stone 12, I do believe. So that means I've lost two pounds since last time, but my goal was to be nine, ten, ten stone nine. But I've only been paying attention to my diet for like five days last week, and the rest I've been picking out. And the week before that, I've been picking out like eating actual junk, like everything in my view. So. <laughs> If I only, so like I'm quite proud of myself for losing that two pound even though I didn't reach my goal and my goal for the next fortnight is just to lose two more pounds so I'll need to lose three pounds to catch up but considering after five days I lost two pound paying attention to the diet and doing it exactly how I did for them five days within a fortnight I should definitely be able to have um, achieved that now then my only boundary for that is it's coming up to my birthday like next week it will be my birthday and so I'll be eating out I'll, I'll be eating lots then and drinking a lot and then on the weekend on that weekend I'm off out with Belinda I think maybe so we'll be eating a lot and drinking a lot then because that was the plan with me and Belinda will celebrate our birthdays then since I'm at uni I think on my birthday and she's got work on it on my birthday and so vice versa on her birthday so anyway plan. I'm hoping I will reach that goal to lose three more pound within the next fortnight I think I will I genuinely believe I will okay because I don't think two days off will really make that much of a difference um so if I keep on track and stay determined and only have them two days off the diet I should definitely be able to achieve that goal. I'm really looking forward to just slimming down. I'm really happy that I lost two pound even though I can't really feel it because it's like hardly anything since I weigh so much like losing two pound is hardly anything but I'm still so proud of myself because I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Like I struggle to even lose one pound because I'm just so terrible when it comes to food lately. So I'm like so determined. So anyway, I'm in my gym stuff. I'm gonna go to the gym in, in a sec. Um, what I did find a mo motivation is this is really sad, okay? I watch a lot of Coronation Street and Emmerdale. If you're British, you will understand the importance of Coronation Street and Emmerdale. And if not, then you're a terrible person, bye. <laughs> I'm joking, but anyway, so. <laughs> Most of the days I've been going to the gym when Corey and Emmerdale are on. So I end up staying on the cross trainer because like it has like a little TV so I can watch it on there. But I'll but like even if I want to quit I will stay on stay on the cross trainer out of fear of missing the program. <laughs> Just because <laughs> I don't want to miss it. <laughs> oh what is life? That sounds really sad, but it, it's it's working. It's clearly working. I've seen the difference after five fucking days. I beg beg my French. So it's even though it's quite strange and sad, it, it works. And that's all that matters really, isn't it? It's working. So maybe in a um, couple of months I will be able to thank television for helping me lose weight, which is not a thing people can say very often. Normally it's the opposite. I've had quite a lazy day today, I'll be honest. But I did make some more soup because th that's how I've lost my weight, okay? I will explain. Okay, so how I lost the weight, I think, is I stuck to like a plan. But most days I'd have to go for like at least an hour walk. Most days. Um, normally it'd just be to the shop and back. And then every single day I'd have to go to the gym and lose at least 600 pounds. 600 pounds? at least 600 calories on the cross trainer okay the cross trainer is the thing that works out your abs and legs at the same time so it goes down really quick also 
All I'm allowed for breakfast is a bowl of cereal. All I'm allowed for dinner is a, um, what was it? All I'm allowed for dinner is my homemade soup that contained around 50 calories with one small slice of bread containing around 80 calories. And then for tea, I'm only allowed what they make me here and I'm not allowed to ask for extra. <laughs> also no cakes, treats, snacks, etc. not allowed. And also all the um, drinks that I've been having. I'm not allowed any drinks that are over, what was it? Around 10 calories, okay? 10 calories is the most I'm allowed for a drink, okay? So if I want a cup of tea, I can have a cup of tea, but I can't have a milkshake. <laughs> You can see how I'm doing my diet now, I mean everything I'm eating and every time I exercise and things on my vlogs. So if you watch my vlogs you'll know what I've been eating every day, you'll be know you'll know what how long I've been exercising for, what I've lost and things like that. So yeah. So that was quite a quick update. I hope you enjoyed the little update thing. I hope to see you, you guys in a fortnight. Hopefully I'll have lost three pounds and I'll be so excited. Things are looking up so far. I know it sounds daft because this is like the only time I've worked out within like actually lost the weight with within god knows how long I've been trying to do this vlog but still it looks like I might be able to do it because that seems pretty easy ish so thank you very much for watching guys please like the video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new comment below to let me know what you thought so far of this video and the series I mean losing two pound feel free to comment suggestions thanks for watching guys bye